Hi everyone, this is Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. I thought I'd give you guys a comparison of the Kindle 3 versus the Kindle 4 today. Um, okay, so let me talk about the screensaver ads really quick. Um, so they both have the option for screensaver advertisements and special offers that cost, uh, what it knocks like uh, $30 off the price on this one, $40 off the price on that one. Uh, so what it is, instead of getting um, pictures of authors when the um, device is off, like on the Kindle 3 right here, um, you get uh, ads. So with the Kindle 4, if you buy the ad version, you can actually upgrade, pay the 30 bucks to go to the non-ad version. Uh, they don't have that option on the Kindle 3 for some reason, so if you get the ad version, you're stuck with it. So on here on the Kindle 4, we got the power button down there, and that's the uh, USB port. Um, we've got the back button. This is for the keyboard right here, since it doesn't have a keyboard. And then you've got the same um, nav controller on both of them down here. And this is the uh, menu, and that's home. And then we've got, you can't really see them, but there's two buttons here on the side. And then there's the, um, with the Kindle, you obviously you got the keyboard down here, and it's got a power slide to turn it on. And it also has, a head, this is the volume button down here because it has a headphone jack because it supports audio, whereas the Kindle 4 does not support audio at all. So, uh, and then the other thing with the advertisement on the Kindle 4, or whichever Kindle you have actually, um, it has an ad down here too. So that you have the ad down here, and then you have the ad um, on the screensaver. So that's how the um, sponsored screensavers and advertisements work. Okay, so as far as the home screen, you can see that they're exactly the same. Um, pretty much the only difference uh, with the, the Kindle 4 is it does have screen rotation, whereas the Kindle 3 does not, as you can see through here. And uh, so when you have the special offer ones as well, you have the list where you can view the special offers. Um, otherwise, you know, you can see here everything else is the same. You can shop from the Kindle store, turn on the wireless, and uh, view your archived items and sync and all that. Okay, so some of the other differences in here, so the experimental, like I said, the uh, Kindle 3, it supports audio, so it has some more experimental features in here. Um, so we both got the web browser on both of them, those are pretty comparable. Uh, the Kindle uh, 3, like I said, it has the audio support, so you got that play music here, and it also has text-to-speech, um, so it has uh, speakers as well. So if you launch the browser, on, they, they both have the same browser, essentially. Um, pretty much everything is the same with it got the same bookmarks list uh, one difference with the Kindle 3 is you have the option to get 3G wireless the, the Kindle 4 doesn't have that option uh, it just has the Wi-Fi only version um, so that's one other difference as well uh, about the screen buttons here so the Kindle 4 has these buttons or the Kindle 3 has these buttons and then the Kindle 4 has the smaller ones they're kind of on the edge here um, I really like the Kindle 4's buttons a lot better than the Kindle 3's I don't know why exactly but uh, I don't know why it's hanging on this page either. That's kind of strange. The Kindle 4 loaded a lot faster. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I personally like the buttons better on the Kindle 4. Some people like it better on the Kindle 3. It's a little easier on the Kindle 3 when you have it in a, um, a case, just because they're so it's so thin right there. It's kind of hard to hit them. Um, I, I just find these ones a little bit more comfortable. And I find this one a little bit more comfortable to hold too than the Kindle 3. But uh, I don't know. That just might be my personal preference. Uh, so the Kindle 3 has got this uh, plastic uh, coating. It's kind of like a textured thing here, and the uh, Kindle 4 is also made out of plastic, but it has sort of like a metallic finish. It actually feels more elegant. It feels like it's uh, better built than the Kindle 3, in my opinion. Okay, so as far as features go with the browser, we've got uh, pretty much the same exact deal. So one difference with the Kindle 4 is you can actually rotate the screen into landscape mode. Um, and then, since you don't have the keyboard, you have everything is... Uh, um, different, um, just the layout here. You have to go in here to do all the uh, the different options to go access the menu. So it does take a little bit more um, key presses when you're using the Kindle 4, obviously, than the Kindle 3. Okay, as far as books go, let me show you how the books uh, department works here. Let me go ahead and load up the same book on both of them. Okay, so when it comes to reading ebooks, the experience is pretty much the same on both of them. Uh, the main difference with the Kindle 4 or the Kindle 3 is it refreshes pages every single page turn, as you can see right there. And the Kindle uh, 4, it has the partial refresh setting. So it, does, it only refreshes the full page. Here we go, right there, once every six page turns. So if you don't like that, you can actually um, go into settings and change it to refresh every page. But the page refresh like this, it is faster. Um, I'll try to get them at the same time here. So you can see the difference there, you don't get the full page refresh, you just get the partial page refresh. So when it comes to adding notes and stuff like that, the Kindle 3 is obviously the better option to go with uh, because the keyboard is just a lot easier to use. You can just start typing um, and then you can uh, do run searches. If you want to add uh, a text note or something, you just uh, bring your cursor down, 
you, that brings up the dictionary as well and then you can just start typing to add a note so with the Kindle keyboard it's a little different you bring your cursor down here and then you'll have to um, obviously launch the keyboard and that way you use your little cursor right here to go about the letters so it definitely is more time consuming if you want to add a lot of notes you definitely want to go with the keyboard version or maybe even the Kindle Touch uh, we'll have to see how that comes out it comes out uh, in uh, another week and a half and I'll do some reviews with it as well so when it comes to features, like I said, the uh, Kindle 4 or the Kindle 3, it has audio support. So when you come in here um, with the Kindle 4, you have to come into the menu. So it does take an extra uh, hit of the key right there. Um, so you've got the same options in here for the screen rotations and the typeface and the the font sizes and that stuff. It's all the same. And then um, you've got the text to speech with the Kindle or the Kindle 3. So that's the one difference uh, with that. So uh, another benefit with the Kindle uh, Kindle 3's keyboard is you, there are hot buttons, so you can there are different things you can do. So like if you hit the uh, Alt B, you can add bookmarks, uh, so you don't have those kind of hot buttons on the Kindle 4. Um, so another thing with the, uh, another subtle difference here is games. So um, they both support games, but the um, Kindle 4 doesn't support nearly as many games as the Kindle 3. So the Kindle 3 will play all the games that are available at the Amazon store. Um, so like these ones. A lot of them don't work on the Kindle 4 because it doesn't have the keyboard. A lot of these depend on the keyboard for interacting with the game. So like there's note apps and then there's games and they'll depend on the keyboard for certain functions. The Kindle 4 doesn't have those so that's one thing to be aware of. The um, games and stuff like that, like the calendars, um, they're not going to work on the Kindle 4 or at least they don't yet so they'll have to be updated to work just with these few buttons that it has down here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review. I pretty much covered the details. Like the whole interaction, the interface is all the same. Like the PDF support, you're going to have the same sort of um, features. Um, everything works the same. It's just the set of differences without having the keyboard in the basic model uh, versus the um, Kindle 3. So um, check out the ebookreader.com. I'll have a lot more info on there. Um, thank you for watching.